Here we have another Hardigardi. This time it's a really distinctive 17th century model. This lid is made in the style of the lids from uh, other instruments we've seen around. Um, this is the clamps holding on the back where we've just glued the back on. You can see there there's a little bit of a repair a crack filled in of course with new maple. Here's the headstock of the other one. Uh, interesting headstock this one. Because if we take it out like this, we can see inside. And here, if you lift up the secret trapdoor where diamonds or whatever was hidden in there. No one would steal an instrument, so they wouldn't know it was there. This is the Pajot with the big Jubilee clip wrapped around the wheel, drying away. That'll be trimmed up now tomorrow. And here's the underbelly of the little loop back. You see there are clamps on it there. It's where it's got a little bit of a crack. But more importantly it's got it's got a lot of problems with the woodworm. Now, as we turn it over, you can see the belly here. Beautiful little uh, trumpet bridge here. It's gorgeously decorated. Same with this, the, uh, the bridge. See those locating holes? And underneath you have the corresponding pins. So in she goes in there, fits in. Nice little tailpiece here. This is the key box. The keys on this one, if I can get it around, very interesting. They're almost like little steps. <laughs> and each one fits into the next one, like a jigsaw. Possibly the lid is not original, though it looks kind of the same wood. And inside, of course, one row. Shafts are clearly visible. They have never had holes in them. So, and look at this nice decorative little base. Nice wheel covers. Wheel cover retainers. And of course, the Tirant. Peg for adjusting trumpet. 